I'm going to paint the other side here. And uh, if you take a look at that picture where I've uh, kind of designated the seven grooves to put the paint in, the groove three, four, and five are kind of shallow. So those are the ones that, you know, you got to be a little bit careful with on this profile of a door. But mostly if you keep that rag really tight across your fingers and wipe, you can leave that paint in those grooves. And you just kind of work it same way as the other side. Still using the dry cloth here, getting most of it out with the dry cloth. By the time I'm done using the dry cloth on this, wiping off the paint's pretty dry. You can touch it with your hand. It'll still come off easily with the wet rag, but the paint on there is pretty dry. See, I'm touching it right there and it's no big deal. Now I'm going to take the wet rag and fine tune it. Just take off a little bit more paint and just kind of fine tune it a little bit. And using this combination of dry rag, wet rag, very effective. Easy tools but very effective for this kind of look. And there you have it, all done.